Hello, guys. Welcome, Welcome back to Liberty All Day. Happy 2023. Can't believe we're here already. It is January 9th as I record this. And um, wow, 2023 already. I can't believe how quickly time is flying by. Last year was definitely something. It was a first full year that we were together as a family in a while. And we definitely enjoyed the time together. Now, last year was the first time we did a word of the year. And as a family, we chose the word grow to focus on. We definitely grew together. <laughs> um, we literally grew. Bug was born mid-August. And he's such a joy. Like, the best addition for our family. He, It's so much fun to see how he's growing every day. And the biggest goofy grin that he gives to little man whenever he sees him is just the best. And little man adores his baby brother. So we are so happy to have him, to have grown our family, to include him. We also grew together. We improved our relationships. So Squatch and I have been making sure that we both get one-on-one -on -one time with each of the boys it's very difficult because Bug monopolizes most of my time. Um, I'm still breastfeeding on demand and there are days where he goes through cluster feeding and all he wants to do is be with me. So little man, in order to help him out, we're making sure that he gets a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with daddy in the mornings when daddy's here. And on the days that Bug is amenable to it, I get the one-on-one -on -one time with little man instead of daddy so that he gets a time with both of us. Um, but little man is definitely showing the positive results of all of our efforts, which lets us know that we are doing the right thing for myself. My, my word for 2022 was prepare. I prepared to have a baby. <laughs> I looking back now, my preps were really spot on, especially the last week, week and a half before Bug arrived, I we had several last minute trips to the hospital. One of them at about midnight or so. So, yeah, those my preparations definitely helped. Um, I did a lot of preparation in the home for bringing Bug back, and it wasn't just getting all the baby stuff up, being washed, and the house reorganized. I I made sure that we had a large pantry in the basement, and that our freezer was full of meat. Now I bought 15 pounds of ground beef, five pounds of that I turned into sloppy joes. And that actually ended up being about closer to nine pounds once I added in all the fixins. I did five pounds of taco meat and I did several pounds of shredded chicken too. Um, and I put each of those in a quart size bag and they ended up being about half a pound, three quarters of a pound each. And it made such a difference when Squatch went back to work because I could pull a bag out, let it thaw on the counter in the afternoon and then toss it in a small pie dish and in the toaster oven to heat up for myself if, if I need something. Because let me tell you guys, when you go more keto carnivore, even with breastfeeding, I'm really surprised. Like my, I'm not constantly eating like I was when I was um, breastfeeding little man. But my diet is so different. My diet is 90% meat right now because we had the holidays. So I enjoyed the holidays. Um but yeah, having having those little bags of food ready to go made all the difference. I mean, Squatch even took some with him to work for his dinners. He really doesn't like sloppy joes now, and he didn't like them that much to begin with. So I will not be making sloppy joes for a very long time. <laughs> but um, as, as the year came to a close, I, I started looking back and to figure out, like, wh where was I lacking? What is What is something I need to work on? I wanted to choose a good word for myself, something that would challenge me and that I could, that I'd be able to see the difference in over the course of the year as, as I focus on that word. And then Squatch and I wanted to challenge ourselves as a family too. And that's another word. It took some time for us to agree on it. But for myself, I chose the word confidence. And I'd be like, confidence? I mean, you have a podcast, you have the blog. You've got your little hustle going on. Well, yeah, I want I want to, to not necessarily improve, but um, increase 
the confidence in myself. I want to have confidence when I speak up for myself and when I share my opinions. I want to be confident in my ability to get backwards consulting up and running and make it be something that's profitable. Profitable. Hello, I can speak. I want to have confidence in my parenting decisions. I, re- I want confidence everywhere. <laughs> and it's a whole lot easier to project confidence and act confident than to really be confident in what you do, I found. Last year, I dealt with a lot of imposter syndrome, especially when it comes to the quote-unquote homesteading world and prepping and everything. One minute, little man, and I'll be out there. Um, Having confidence in myself, that will help with the imposter syndrome, and it's going to remind me that Not only do I have a voice, but I have something to share. One minute. For a family word, (laughs) Squatch and I decided on intentional. We want to be more intentional with how we spend our time. I found us falling into a rhythm of me sitting on the couch with Bug. I'd be nursing him or holding him while he slept. So I'm just taking a nap. (laughs) Then Squatch would join me. And little man would be running around that room. The TV would be on and he'd be playing. We weren't getting anything done. I have a very good excuse for not running around 24-7 getting everything finished because I have a very needy four and a half month old. Not to mention a four and a half year old. Um, But while we were spending time together, it wasn't quality time together. We were just in the same room at the same time. Um, You know, TV would be on, Squatch might be watching YouTube videos on his phone. I'd be busy with the baby. Little man would be running around wanting us to read him a book or do this. And I'd be like, I have a baby on my boob. I cannot take care of you right now. You need to talk to your dad. Um, but it like said, it wasn't quality time t- that we were spending. So we've decided we need to be more intentional in the time we spend together. And for this year, we've listed out all the projects that we want to do here at the Little Red House. And we put them on the calendar. So we have goals. So this month, our goal is to get the basement cleaned out, organized, get all those boxes that we have down there, like actually go through them. And I've already got two big boxes of stuff to be donated as I've been going through stuff. So yay. My goal this week is to finally get all of the bins of little man's old clothes upstairs, go through them and see what I have in which size and get them sorted into the bins and label the bins so I know what's where. It was easy enough with this up to 12 month stuff, but little man, or sorry, bug is now in nine to 12 month clothes because I make giant babies. Um, but yeah, so I'm being very intentional this week to make sure that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that is my project. I'm going to be getting it done and I'd really like to get it done Tuesday so I can get some other stuff done Wednesday, Thursday, but we'll see. Um, we're being intentional with our one-on-one time that we're spending with little man and with Bug, and with ourselves. (laughs) And we want to make sure that we're making memories. So Little Man and I, we've done a lot of baking in the kitchen. Last week, he helped me bake banana bread because my mother and cousin surprised us. Well, we surprised Little Man for New Year's Eve, and my mother brought some bananas, which we didn't eat. (laughs) So I said, well, I could throw them in the freezer with a million other bananas that I have, or I take these two and make banana bread. Little Man wanted to make banana bread, so we did that. Little man and Squatch, are, they're going out and they're shoveling. They're playing in the snow. Yesterday they were outside for about 45 minutes and it was a little bit above freezing. <laughs> but there was no wind, so it wasn't really that cold, actually. They were they shoveled. They Little man sat on the sled and Squatch pulled him around the yard. They started making an igloo. They did snow angels in a snowball fight. And it was so much fun to watch them and see it. And that was intentional time spent together. I've scheduled, we're scheduling time throughout the week for me to be able to hide here in the office and get work done. Because like I said, I'm trying to get backwards consulting up and going. I have two clients who have projects that I need to work on. I need to make sure I have the, I make the time to get it done. We're not scheduling every single second of every single day because that is just insane, my friends. Do not try to schedule from the moment you wake up until the time that you go to bed. You don't need to schedule 
every time you drink, all the time you go to drink your water, all the time you go to the bathroom, when you're going to eat, when you're going to do this, when you're going to do... No. But having block, general blocks of time definitely helps. We have a basic weekly schedule and a monthly meal plan. We're trying the monthly meal plan out for this month. And pretty much it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday is beef. It's mostly going to be uh, burger patties or steaks. Tuesdays is going to be hot dogs or bratwursts. Thursday is going to be some kind of pork. Saturday is like the one day a week we would allow ourselves to do some type of takeaway if we choose. And then Sunday is going to be a roast, either a beef roast or a pork roast or a chicken, like a roast chicken. We'll make that we'll make that decision on Fridays to decide what we're gonna have on Sundays. But those two things alone have made the first nine days of 2023 so much easier to handle because we're not making those decisions the night before or the day of as to what we're gonna be doing with our time. We're being intentional and it makes such a difference. So I hope that you've had a great start to 2023 and it's everything so far that you want it to be. You guys, I know it's tough out there, but all I can say is stay true to your path.